long training, first match after two years and first win. How is the feeling? Um, good, of course, if you can win 3-0. But um, when I saw the game India-Bangladesh, I knew we had to play a crucial game today. Because if you win today, Bangladesh, sorry to say, but are really weak. So I don't see any problems for tomorrow. It means that you are in the semi-finals if you win today. So the goal, the goal was not only to play good volleyball, but we have to win and with the, the best score possible. So we did it, but we played okay in attack, but there are still many points we can do better. We start to serve good from the second set. The first set was horrible because every time where I put the target, they have to serve in one, they have to serve in five, they have to serve in six. They miss the ball. And service is crucial to disturb a team like Kyrgyzstan who has only a little bit power on the high ball. So first of all, you have to put the service in the play. And then uh, from the second set, it was much, much better. And the third set, we were starting slow. The player has to run to the service. When you make point, don't celebrate five minutes and go to the service easy. No, the player in the service, go immediately in the service. You have to give problems to the other team. You have to go through. And then Miruta came in the service and she made like six points in a row because she was not celebrating with the team. She was going directly to serve, to serve, to serve. You have to keep the rhythm in the play. So this we can do better and we will lead against India because India is not Kyrgyzstan or Bangladesh. India is a strong team, tall team. So we have to serve better. We have to defend better. The attack was pretty good. Ursa, Nam, even Neruta were attacking very well. Our middle can be better, but uh, we made, in my eyes, a little bit too many stupid mistakes. And those stupid mistakes we have to clear for the next games, because otherwise we are going to face problems against better teams. What is the strategy against India? Will Sarasuti be playing tomorrow? I am not worried about Sarasuti. You are living in the past. I don't care about the past. I know I was working two and a half months. I know the value of every player. And I have in my mind, or I have a reception defense team, or I have more a blocking team, or I have more an all-round team in my mind. And I will use the players according to the opponent, how I think I can win. And not only win, I just want to win every point. So I will reinforce maybe the block, maybe I need better defense, maybe I need better reception. And I have 40 players I can choose. And I don't... There are, for me, there are no names. There are just numbers. Aruna is number five. When she is playing bad, then Pragati is coming in our place. This is the numbers are on the court, but they are just the starters or the players. And I choose who is going to play. And this is this choice is because of two months and a half training. Sarsotti huh, has a little problem in the knee. She is not strong at this moment. So, this is the problem for her. I hope I can recover her in two days or three days or for the semi-finals. I will need her against a stronger team. I will maybe need her. But volleyball is not only attack. Volleyball is service, especially defense. In women volleyball, no defense, no counter-attack. Okay, I think the team who is on the court now is a very good reception team and a very good defense team. 
There is not one ball going directly on the floor. This is a strength. And if we can deliver them counter-attack to Usa, to Nurita, to Puna, we are okay. We are okay. First of all, defense. First of all, reception. And then you can play one Cool. So when we are behind the 4-6 in the third set, and we collect the regular 11 point, I guess. So what should we do to keep this rhythm in the future matches? So they have to go first of all, I, I told already, they have to go quicker to the service. Okay? And they have to keep a rhythm. They were at 6-4, like, oh, slowing up. It's going to be an easy game. No, 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 no. You have to push. You are dominant. You have to continue till it's 3-0. I told this in the timeout. I didn't tell a lot in the timeout. I said, girls, you have to run to the service. You have to keep the rhythm in the play. We are stronger. They are weak in reception. You have to reach the target. Number 11 has to receive a lot. You cannot put the ball to the liberal. You have to put the ball to number 11 or in that zone. From the moment we are doing this, was no problem. Was no problem. Yeah. About open spike. <laughs> you mean the yeah. ball on the outside? Yeah. Usha and uh, Niruta's pair of the, this pair can be the best pair for the upcoming days or upcoming games? Of course. If you see, you know how much Usha scored. She scored practically every ball. So why, why to play different? Why to play? If Usha is good, she can two block, one block. She is scoring all the balls. Two meters from the net also, she scored the balls. Then I have no problem that she receive a lot of balls. Okay? Maybe. And Aruna has to play a different game. That's possible. We will see. You, you saw India match? Yeah, India. So, wh what is the difference between Nepal and India performance? You saw them? India? You saw them? Yeah, I was just one set. One ten, set today, India. Ten centimeters difference. Yeah. Ten centimeters. Not only one player. They are all like Sarah. All like Sarah. And they are jumping higher than Sarah. So you have to beat a physical team. But if you know a story, David won from Goliath. Goliath was a huge man. And David was a little man. And still David can win against the big man. Yes. You know, this is a Greek, in the Greek mythology, yes. a story that David can win against Goliath. So, India is Goliath. But David has still a chance to beat.